morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you've tuned into this channel all over the world. Welcome to Verdict TV. The news headline Five billion dollars a basha loot. Court gives ex president of passenger Jonathan Brary fresh ultimatum. Welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the details. Please listen carefully to the end. The judgment was delivered by Justice James Kolawole Omotosho following a suit by the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Seraf. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja in a landmark judgment has ordered the disclosure of the spending details of about $5 billion Sunny Abasha loot by the government of former president Olusegu Obasanjo, Umaru Musaya Radwa, Goodluck Jonathan, and Muhammadu Buari. The court ordered the government of President Bola Tenumbu to disclose the exact amount of money stolen by General Sonny Abasha from Nigeria and the total amount of Abasha loot recovered and all agreements signed on same by the governments of former presidents of Basanjo, Jared Rao, Jonathan and Burari. The judgment was delivered last week by Justice James Kolawole Omotosho following a Freedom of Information suit numbered FAC slash ABJ slash CS slash 407 slash 2020, brought by the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAF. In this ju judgment, Justice Omotosha held. In the final analysis, the application by SERAF is meritorious and the federal government through the Ministry of Finance is hereby ordered to furnish SERAF with the full spending details of about $5 billion Abasha loot within seven days of this judgment. The judge ruled, I dare for hold that Seraf is entitled to the information on the spending details of about $5 billion Abasha loot and need not show any special interest in the information sought. The provision of Section 4 of the Freedom of Information Act is quite clear and mandates that public institution or public officer, such as the Minister of Finance and the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, must make available the information requested within seven days of the request. Justice Omotosho ordered the government to disclose details of the projects executed with the Abasha loot, locations of any such projects, and the names of companies and contractors that carried or carrying out the projects since the return of democracy in 1999 to date. Justice Omotosho also ordered the government to disclose details of specific roles played by the World Bank and other partners in the execution of any projects funded with Abasha loot under the governments of former presidents of Basanjo, Yaradwal, Jonathan and Burari. Justice Omatosho also stated, the excuse by the Minister of Finance is that the Ministry has searched its records and the details of the exact public funds stolen by Abasha and how the funds have been spent and not held by the ministry. The excuse has no leg to stand in view of Section 7 of the Freedom of Information Act. Justice Omotosho dismissed all the objections raised by the federal government and upheld Seraph arguments. Consequently, the court entered judgment in favor of Seraph against the Nigerian government. Justice Omotosha's judgment, dated July 3, 2023, read in part, The failure of the Minister of Finance, 
to write to Seraph informing it of where the said information exists or to transfer the request to public office who has custody of such information is fatal to their case under section 5 of the Freedom of Information Act. The ministry cannot use a blanket statement that it was not in possession of the said records of about $5 billion Abasha loots sought by Seraph. The government failed to provide details of the projects executed with the money. It also failed to provide the locations of the projects and the names of the companies and contractors that carried out or are carrying out the projects funded with the money. So meaning that the loot of Abasha were not in use for the public. That is the administration of the past government president of Basanjo, Jaradwal, Jonathan and Buari. That's the, it means that the money was used for themselves. Abasha looted this money and they need to know what the money was used for and also the total amount, the companies that did the project and all that. But the thing now is how can corruption investigate corruption? Because we know that corruption has been in existence before now and each government have their own pace at which they, 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 they are corrupt at least this is the we know that this thing that is happening now it, it will certainly be the first and the last to be heard of in this case because they are all in an evil court weaponizing poverty against Nigerians we are the court sleeping during a passenger Yarad Jonathan and Burari were they sleeping that they could not take it up is it now that the court is waking up to ask for Abasha loot accounts? Is it the administration of Tinubu, Tinubu that just got into power that they want to start doing all this? Let the court ask the regime before Tinubu to account for Abasha loot. They should not try and distract Tinubu's government over Abasha's loot because we know that Buari actually spent almost half of the loot to strengthen Fulani bandits and Boko Haram. So they should go and ask the past president and not somebody that just got into power yesterday to carry out the investigation that is going on. The amount was looted. This regime have started doing nothing, probing about problem, probing upon probing without no reports. Even Burari government kept blaming Jonathan for four years and nothing was achieved. These headless and clueless politicians will promise heaven and earth to be voted, forgetting their way they know nothing to do, why competent people won't be allowed because they have no money to fling. So the government of Bola Tunubu should do this without wasting time because everybody is actually waiting and expecting it. But is this supposed to be done during his administration? For administrations has gone. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view to this? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.